Mariah Elizabeth sent me squishies some time back, and I've been using quite a lot of them in my recent squishy makeovers. For today's squishy makeover, I'm going to be using only the squishies she sent me, and I'm gonna be making the squishies in her style. Kinda. It's still gonna be my usual creepy cute style, but with, like, Mariah's twist. The squishies today are actually based on Mariah's characters, Shelly and Eustace. They're not meant to be Shelly and Eustace. They're not a copy. Just inspired by them. There's a big difference. So, I've got a happy little mushroom here. It took me a while to think of what to do with them. I was thinking something along the lines of mischievous gnomes and mushrooms. That's just the first thing that came to mind. That's not what I actually end up doing with this squishy. I pulled out my flamingo scissors and started cleaning up the seams. The mushrooms falling apart at the seams. I had to do a bit of repair work with some puffy paint. Get it together! A lot of these mini squishies used to be keychains. This guy seems to have had his keychain already removed. Saves me the excitement of ripping it out myself. To do the base layers, I'm gonna be mixing up some soft matte paint with some slick paint. Soft matte paint is so helpful. Seriously, guys, it's a lifesaver. If you're planning on painting squishies, use soft matte. Otherwise, you're gonna wanna rip your hair out. But yeah, painting squishies is really fun. I love painting squishies. Only with soft matte, though. Not sponsored by soft matte. Anyways, the mushroom was feeling lonely. He needs a buddy. So I dug out another mushroom. Welcome back, three-eyed freak. I missed you. Luckily for me, this time I got to experience the joys of gently tugging out the keychain. I'll save that for one day when I decide to make keychains. I cleaned up his seams because a lot of you guys freak out all the time over that. Poor guy's completely bald now. I hope you guys are happy. His head is kinda separating down the middle. There. All patched up and ready to go. I gave him a little nice base coat. It's actually been going a lot quicker, not only because of the soft mat, but also because these are mini squishies. I've been having a lot of fun with these mini squishies that Mariah hooked me up with. I've been adding so many little accessories and doing so many alterations. I feel like it's opened up a whole new door of possibilities. So they're two little mushrooms, and I'm gonna stack them one on top of the other. I held everything in place with hot glue. The hot glue does dry hard, but I don't think it's noticeable. I'm gonna go over it with puffy paint anyway to further seal their fate. And that dries hard anyway, so I don't really see a difference. The gaping wound in his skull opened up again, but that's fine. I'll just give him a little party hat. No one has to see his wounds. One annoying thing about this leaning tower of mushrooms is that it leans. It can't stand up on its own, so I have to use a cup to keep him from flying off the table. That was my bad. Not the cup's fault. I've got these two little squishy pieces here. They're just random parts that I shaped into horns. I'm turning this guy into a little monster with horns and a party hat. The horns aren't perfect. They're probably not even the same size. It's really hard shaping these squishy parts into something you want. That's why I usually take whatever body parts I want from other squishies. Since I'm going off Shelly and Eustace for my character inspiration, this guy's gonna be kinda like Eustace. He's got some mint chocolate chip accents going on. The mushroom isn't exactly ice cream, it's still a mushroom. It's just kind of like a mushroom in Candyland. It's meant to be abstract art. I don't know, guys. It's just a mushroom based off Eustace. Stick with me here. He's got sort of a double scoop kind of situation going on. Sometimes I call this guy Doble Scoope. <laughs> Keeping with the color scheme, the horns are a dark chocolate chip brown. He's a monster. He has horns, therefore monster. <laughs> His face, though, doesn't look that intimidating. I don't think all monsters have to look scary. Some of them can just be derpy. At least that's the case with this guy. I wanted to add some separation between the mint and chocolatey part of the mushroom. They were just blending in a little too much, so I added a dark brown outline going around. I tried eyeballing the lines on the cone. Just made them wrap around as evenly as I could. It took a lot of concentration, especially on such a little tiny cone. I almost forgot to give him pants. He is dressed. He's sitting on a mushroom for... <laughs> I don't know why. But he is dressed which is an achievement, especially for him, since he has no arms. But lucky for Doble Scoupe, he does have two little stick legs. He's just hanging out there, on top of a mushroom, with no arms. I forgot to give him feet before, so I'll add those now. I don't want to rob him of all his appendages. <laughs> So here's something different. I picked up one of these cake decorators. I'm plopping in some mint ice cream color in there. Now I can add Doble Scoupe's second scoop dribbling down his head. I would have gone in directly with a paint bottle to drizzle on the ice cream, but I don't have fabric paint in this color. I had to mix it myself. I could have just painted on the drips, but that doesn't give the same effect as it drizzled on there. Hence why I'm using the cake decorator. He also got some ice cream on his face. I mean, in addition to the whole ice cream on his head. Next up, we've got Turd Bear. 
the softest squishy I've ever felt in my life. My fiance genuinely didn't even want me to paint this squishy because she loves squishing it so much. She insisted, but I've already set aside the limited edition autographed squishy from Mariah, so I can't just keep all of them. They're meant to be painted on. And now it's time to remove his cute little turd ears. Don't freak out. I'll carefully hot glue them back on later. This turd bear drank up so much of my paint. He has a lot of little pores and the paint just kind of seeps into them. It's honestly infuriating. It's looking a little textured, but that's not my fault this time. I will accept no blame this time. So here's the hot mess himself. Paint it all white. As much of a tragedy as it looks like right now, I will say this squishy ends up being one of my top favorite squishies I've ever made. So I hope you like him when he's done, because I do. A lot. Anyways, you guys might remember Stanford here, Clifford's fun-sized blue cousin. Oh my god! I actually only want half of him, which works out since he's already decapitated. Mariah's done all the work for me. I'm just trimming down his innards. Make it nice and smooth. So this squishy is gonna be inspired by Shelly. Remember, I'm not trying to make this into Shelly. I don't want any sparkle butts attacking me. That looks nothing like Shelly. You're a monster. I know it doesn't look like Shelly. I'm not trying to make Shelly. It's just loosely based on Shelly. It's not Shelly. I flipped Turd Bear upside down and gave him a new body. He's still gonna be 100% bear, just 0% turd. I went around with puffy paint again, made sure I filled in all the gaps. Turd Bear's ears are coming back. They're just gonna be glued to the opposite side of his head. He's now mostly put together, except he's still missing a foot. I'm creating a new one out of puffy paint for him. He deserves it. So just like Shelly, this guy's also gonna be pink. He's gonna be cute and pink, but also hideous and bloated and evil. One thing that's unfortunate about this guy, other than everything, is that his textured face doesn't match the texture of his body. His body's like a normal squishy and his face is like memory foam or something. I tried blending it together with a ton of pink paint as best as I could. Kind of just looks like he has a furry face and a hairless body. I didn't expect this or think about it too much when I started, and now it's just too late to change anything. Like Doble Scoupe, he also has a cone on his head. They must be attending the same sprinkly party. What's nice about this cone, though, is that it already has the lines indented on it that I can use as a guide. I just kinda went over all that, round and round and round the cone. He doesn't look like the kinda guy you would wanna be around for more than forever at all. He's kinda mean. He's a bully. He'll pick on you. And just like his ancestor, Turd Bear, he smells like a turd. You know what? His name is Smelly. Smelly's very wrinkly. That's what happens when you're mean. You get wrinkles. He also happens to have a major double chin. Lots of sags and bags. I just wanted to say again, this is not Shelly. This is Smelly. Please don't confuse the two. I love Shelly. Smelly, however, I also love. I love how ugly he is. I just think he's so funny because he's like this little pink bear with ice cream and sprinkles, but he's just hideous and mean and grumpy and smells like turds. Speaking of ice cream, it's about time I add some. After taking a close look at Smelly, I wanted to go back in and add some chocolate. Maybe the cone is like chocolate dipped, those ones you have to pay extra for. You wouldn't think it based off the stink, but Smelly's living the high life. Chocolate dipped cones and all. Good for you. This isn't exactly how I originally planned these squishies. They were actually supposed to look like this. But then my fiance came home, held a little intervention, and we jointly decided, she decided, we, I, her, together, decided to have them look more like this. They don't look nearly as cursed, but they're still evil. So here's Smelly. And who's this? What's that smell? Click on the next video if you don't want Smelly anywhere near you.